Hey guys, Joel from Skyline Fishing Company here. I want to show you a, a rigging technique that I use with my swim baits. Um, as you know, I've released a 4, a 6, and an 8 inch swim bait. Um, so let me show you some here with the Skyline um, bullet round jig head. What I like to do is I like to line the swim bait up. It's a little tricky with this video here. Okay. When I line it up and I see right where the hook shank extends, I like to mark, take a little mark with that hook and I put it right in the swim bait. All right. I want you guys to pay attention to where that barb is, okay, on the jig head as I put it in the swim bait. I feed it through and right where I made that little mark in the swim bait, I come up with the hook. And it's a perfect set. Okay, now I want to share something how I, we can make this swim bait not slip. As we know, sometimes swim baits slip off of the jig head. So I want you guys to get a piece of number six single strand wire, okay, as we see. Just clip a piece off. I got that piece of wire right here. And I want you to fold it in half. Just like that, all right? Now I want, if, if it's not even, as you see, mine's not quite even. Just make it even, clip them, um, clip them so they're both even sides, which I just did. All right, there you go. So remember where the barb was in my, um, I'm gonna show again just on a spare jig head. We see the um, jig head that's in the swim bait. So here's a spare jig head. You see that barb right there. What I want to do is with this piece of wire, I want to stick this single strand wire that we just did behind that barb. So I want to, let me see if I could, so it could be in this video here. I want to go on both sides of that jig head. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, here's this wire. We're going to go on both sides of this jig head so that that wire is going to come through and it's going to be right behind the barb. Okay? So you got a piece on the top and a piece on the bottom. So here we go. Sometimes you just got to play with it, just get an idea where um, that piece of lead is. Sometimes it'll slip right through and you'll get it just like that. And after you get this, there's no way that that soft plastic could slip anymore it, because that piece of wire is holding right behind the barb. So as you see, there's some strands that are sticking out, right? So that's what we do. We just grab these pliers again, and we just clip them. Boom, and then boom. Now you've got a swim bait, guys, that will no longer slip on a jig head. Um, I hope you enjoyed the rigging technique. Be sure to check out my flare hawks, my jig heads, and the soft plastics I just released. Um, you can find it at Skyline Jigs on Instagram and Skyline Jigs on Facebook. Thank you again, and if anybody has any questions, feel free to private message me or email me. Thank you very much.